Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, this is Andy. Um, tonight I uh, was craving for, uh, uh, my nationality is called Hainam Chicken. Hainam Ginger Rice Chicken, which is like, my nationality is in China. I was born in China, in in China my nationality is called Hoi Lam. Hainam, Hainam. That's mean, my language is Hainam. So, um, I was craving for uh, Hainam chicken on rice and the ginger sauce. So um, I wanted to buy some fresh chicken t today and uh, make some uh, Hainam chicken. I'm tired of eating home. So I hope everybody enjoy this video, okay? Enjoy the video, guys. This is called Hainam chicken on rice, okay? Which is the ginger sauce. Have you, you know, the boiled chicken? that they make outside and the ginger rice and uh, the ginger sauce. This is what my national is, okay? So hope everybody enjoys this video, guys. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, this is called Hainan chicken. This is the uh, um, ginger rice. We'll make the make the soup, the, the chicken rice, the chicken soup, cook into the broth with ginger, okay? That's uh, Hainan chicken. Okay, guys, this is the uh, Hainam chicken. It's the rooster, um, Asian rooster chicken, okay, which is not American chicken. So this one is more expensive and it's more chewable. So I just want to show you today my nationality. I eat this every day in my country, in China. I was born at. So I eat this the rest of my life already, guys. So it's a uh, brown chicken. It's not American chicken, okay? So this is more chewable, more flavored, more vitamins, okay, more protein. So, and then along I have the, uh, you know, when you boil a chicken, you cook the, take the soup and cook with the rice. It's called the brown rice with garlic, with ginger, okay. And, you know, you have to have a side order, which is cucumber and tomato, okay, the side order. And alone, you have the sauce, the ginger sauce, fish sauce, okay? So, hope everybody uh, eat together with me and my spoon right here, okay? So, this is the boiled chicken, Hainan walking chicken, guys, okay? It's not American chicken. So, it looks fabulous, isn't it? All right, guys. And they have an extra vegetable plate for me. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Andy. Uh, today I feel like eating my, uh, it's called Hainam chicken on rice, okay? Which is a uh, Hainan chicken, which is a rooster chicken, Asian chicken, not American chicken, okay? Uh, it's more flavor, it's more chewable, and it's more like uh, the meat is tighter. So it's different from American chicken and there's no like needle shot in a farm. So it's a, uh, it's very prot uh, you know, protein. Uh, my nationalized chicken, okay, the brown chicken, the rooster chicken, and then along, you know, when you cook the, uh, uh, the chicken done, you just uh, you know take the uh, the broth and cook with the rice. This is the brown rice, but it's uh, I buy in the I buy in the best rice in the Chinese supermarket. So, but we use the broth to cook the rice with. It's called chicken. Chicken ginger rice. It's not brown rice. Okay. The color is the color is like like butter You know what I'm saying and uh, to me myself because in Hainan that my nationality we use cabbage and then we use daikon and uh, carrots to make the uh, With vinegar we soak it for like, you know, like a day. So we use that uh, The side vegetable, but I don't want that so I'd rather use, you know, like, you know, like a uh, um, tomato and cucumber and ginger rice, okay? Ginger, uh, chicken rice. And you just, you, I just uh, show you, I have the whole chicken to myself, guys. Look at that. That is amazing, right? Look at that, guys. This is my nationality, guys. This is my uh, high num. I'm high num, guys which is uh, born in China, but I was raised in, uh, 
in uh, Hong Kong. Okay, along I have some uh, ginger sauce, ginger fish sauce. This is my uh, nationality. Okay, so hope everybody eat together with me, and let's dig in. Okay, guys, let me go get my set of knife. Hey guys, this is called the rooster chicken. Look at the chicken. It's a white meat, but it's a brown chicken, okay? Rooster. It's not American chicken, guys. It tastes much tighter, the meats, and it's much more poutine, much better, more expensive, way more expensive. This is uh, Asian chicken, okay? And then, along, you have to have a ginger sauce right here, the ginger sauce, okay? It's fish sauce made with, smashed with ginger, all right? And then along, I have my ginger. I have my uh, Hainan chicken rice. This is called Hainan chicken rice with the chicken broth. Cook in the, with, with the rice, guys. Make the soup, take the broth and cook, make the rice. Look at that. That is amazing, right? So, let's eat, guys. Let's eat. Hope everybody eat together with me. This is Andy, okay? So enjoy the video guys. So I have my uh I don't need a uh, chopstick. I just need a you know maybe a, but I need a fork. I need a fork guys. Hold on, okay? All right, everyone, let's get started, okay? I cut my hair today a little bit shorter, you know. I don't think you can see it, but it looks it looks good, right? You know, no more bangs here. So they they make a mistake, they cut it. So I'm like a little bit uh, depression. So I'm gonna take a few pieces of uh, use a chopstick. Take a few. Uh, let me pick some. Uh, I like the wings, the chicken wings. They go in my plate. I don't like the drumstick when eating the Hainan chicken. I like the middle part, which is the meat parts right here. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Look at that. White meat, guys. And I have uh, one more piece right here. I, I'll pick the good piece and then let's put this up on the side, right? I have my orange juice that I, I bought yesterday. Let's put in here. Orange juice. So the plate, it looked like this, guys. Look at this. See? It's called Hainan chicken. Hainan chicken. This is my nationality, guys. I was born in Hainan in China. This is called Hainan chicken with the, with the um, chicken uh, with the broth, Hainan uh, rice. And this is just a side order makeup. I just make this thing up, but you could do that too as well. But this is my main part, Hainan chicken and the Hainan rice. You know what I'm saying? Hope everybody eat together with me, okay? So right now I have my ginger sauce right here, right? I have my ginger sauce. So it looks uh, it looks delicious, guy. So use, the, use uh, you know, like use... Uh, the chicken to I'll cut my tomato and a half small pieces that's how I eat guys when Hainan chicken you know I, I you have to get a uh, you know when you cook the that um, the chicken in the in the pot use that uh, use the broth to cook rice and and whatever left over make a soup like a bowl of soup like this so when you you when you eat the rice and the meat and your your mouth is dry use the broth to you know go like this scoop it in so but i don't i don't want that so first of all i'm going to try the uh the chicken it's a boiled chicken okay it's boiled this is my national it's called hainam chicken guys so with the ginger sauce like this right with the ginger sauce like this, right? You mix it, right? You know, you mix it. And then you go like this. You just, you know, bite it. 
Mmm. So delicious. With the ginger sauce, with garlic, with uh, fish sauce. It, it soaked up the chicken and it tastes fantastic. That's called Hainan ginger sauce. Mmm. The rice is so. Tastes so good. It tastes like. Uh, it doesn't taste like butter because we don't use butter. We use the chicken broth to cook the rice and ginger and garlic. You know what I'm saying? We put it in a wok and then we just stir it for 10 to 15 minutes. When it come a little bit brown, then we use the broth inside the pot, pour it into the rice pot, and then cook it as a rice, okay? So it turned brown like this. You know what I'm saying? Turn yellow or brown. So here we go, guys. Ready? Mmm. The chicken, the rice, Tastes so fine, so delicious. It tastes like so rich because I know how to cook. I'm Hainan, so my national is called Hainan. I know we we only we don't show off, okay? We we cook at home only a lot of those people that Chinese people they not Hainan nationally, so they have money to open the restaurant, but it's not original from the Hainan people. It's not good as the Hainan people like me. So we don't show off. But those people that they think they have money and they open a restaurant, it's called Hoi Lam Gai Fan. You know, Hainan chicken on rice with a the, with the side of soup. They think they have money and they and they just invent the, the, this kind of uh, um, rice, a uh, Hainan chicken on rice and ginger sauce. They don't make it right. They all wrong, guys. It's place, it tastes like nothing. But this is original. Tonight I wanted to show you that I never make a video in my own uh, nationality food. It's called the Hainan chicken on rice, ginger rice, and um, with the ginger sauce, okay? So here it goes. Ready? Mmm. The chicken is so good. The different American chicken, white chicken, and this is a brown chicken with Asian rooster. This one is cost more than than American chicken inside the American supermarket. This one you buy at the uh, at the cow poultry at, on uh, Rosemary. The city is called Rosemary. It's on Garvey. So the Asian people they sell it. You know what I'm saying? So we go home. I I all every week I eat Hainan chicken. That's my national. I was born in China. Hmm. With the with the, with the ginger sauce, sweet and sour. The ginger already smashed up inside the, uh, the fish sauce. The ginger come out with it, with a strong ginger, uh, uh, you know, uh, water in it to into the sauce. I mean the the the, the ginger uh, um, flavor go into the fish sauce and it just balance with the fish sauce and it make, it's called ginger fish sauce in Hainan chicken. Mmm, it's so fine. Oh, by the way, my kids cook this, not me. I taught them how to do it. It's pretty good, guys. Right? The fish sauce, the ginger fish sauce had garlic and ginger. It's sweet and sour. So, a lot of people they don't know they use chick they use the chicken broth and they use um they don't use ginger they use something else to make the fish sauce with the chicken broth chicken broth and fish sauce they they don't use this fish sauce I'm gonna use they use a uh, chicken broth and they use uh, um they don't use a fish sauce they use a uh, um, ginger so ginger and chicken broth it doesn't it, it's not right. You have to have fish sauce in there too. They think they're right, but they're wrong. Okay, chicken rice. Mmm, it tastes so rich. A lot of flavor in this thing. They have garlic. They have a. Uh, we have garlic. We have a uh, ginger, and chicken broth is along with it is more, much more, um, much more richer and more uh, creamy than. Then you put butter in it. You know what I'm saying? 
Mm. So the rice is so delicious. It's different. It's different that dry uh, my my tomato is that I brought today. I bought today is fresh, guys. Mm. So good. So refreshing. The rice is so fine, guys. My saliva coming out because when it's good food, I I get I uh, I get my saliva coming out. And I'm not gonna lie, you know, it's called time sick means uh, I like to eat. You know what I'm saying? Mmm, so good. You can get like you can get like Asian uh, cucumber, which is more expensive, more flavor. It's more tiny, but it's got a lot of protein, tastes better. And and you can, you know, use as a side vegetable, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then you dig into the, the ginger garlic sauce, uh, fish sauce. Mmm. So good. The ginger smell good. The ginger fish sauce tastes fantastic. Oh my God, you gotta make this at home, guys. It's super delicious. Mmm. And it's very healthy too, guys. Mmm. So fine. It's fantastic, guys. It's so delicious. Oh, by the way, you can never, when you eat it too much, you can never gr grow stuff. I mean, it's like the tire work. It's not. This is different. It's it's the chicken broth cooked with the rice, and it tastes so. It tastes so fantastic. A lot of flavor in there. It's so rich and so moist and so tender, and it's and it's just perfect. You know what I'm saying? This is my nationality. It's called Hainam uh, rice chicken. Right, Hainam chicken on rice with ginger. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. Mmm, the rice is so good tonight. I use, uh, I buy those, uh, those expensive Asian rice, guy. Very expensive. I don't use cheap stuff. Like Costco, they have those regular cheap rice. And it's still, it's still, uh, still Thailand rice, but it's not good. So this is way more expensive than, than, you know, they sell it at the American supermarket. We don't eat that. We only eat with the Chinese, uh, at the Asian supermarket. Mmm, so good. Cucumber, they get, they, they go along with the, with the rice and the chicken, guys. You know what I'm saying? And you can dig in to the ginger sauce like this, and all you do is just put in your mouth. Mmm, mmm, so good. Mm. The best part, the chicken. But to make everything fantastic, you have to have a perfect ginger fish sauce on it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of ginger in there, a lot of garlic in there. It makes the flavor. It makes the real high nam chicken sauce. You know what I'm saying? Ginger sauce. So. This is the best, this is the second good, second best right here. The rice, guys, it's tonight, the rice is fantastic, 100%, perfect. You know what I'm saying? It tastes so rich, like this. Mmm, <laughs> so good. You can eat, you can just eat the rice alone. It's got a lot of flavor and it's like butter, but it tastes better than butter, guys. I'm serious. Mmm, it tastes so good. I don't need to eat the chicken. I'm not a chicken fan, guys. I'm a beef and pork. I'm not, but this is my nationality, uh, chicken, ginger, on rice. I eat it. I don't mind, I eat it because I grow in this thing. My mom, my dad cook this thing because they're high nam. They're high namese. They're not Vietnamese. My, my, my mom and dad is high nam guy which is uh, born in China. They're Chinese. You know what I'm saying? I'm not Vietnamese. 
I just want you to understand because because my father is Chinese, is China, Hainan, and born in China, in Hainan Island. And um, the war in China before too, and my dad just don't like communism. So he escaped China to Hong Kong. I live in Hong Kong, guys. Only two or three years old. I live in Hong Kong for five years. That's how I learned Cantonese. My blood is Chinese. You know, my blood, my blood is Chinese, not Vietnamese. But when, how do you know how I learned Viet Vietnam? My dad opened a French restaurant in Vietnam too. So as little, we, we escaped China, we go to Hong Kong and then we went to uh, Vietnam a little bit. And then we came to America when I was like uh, seven to seven years old. You know what I'm saying? In 1976, I was set seven years old. And uh, in America, you know, when I go to Castle in Chinatown, I learned Cantonese words, language. I learned Vietnamese language with my friend. You know, they taught me. So that's how I grew up with uh, Cantonese and, uh, and uh, Vietnamese. And Hainan is my main language, which is my mom and dad, nationality. Let's continue eating, guys. Mm. Tomato is so fresh and so good. But tomato is no taste, right? You gotta take the tomato. Now take a piece of tomato like this and just dig into the ginger fish sauce and garlic. A lot of ginger in here, guys. You can smell it. See? It's smacked up and it tastes like ginger. It tastes, it tastes strong. Tastes fine, guys. It's delicious. Mm. Fantastic, guys. It's so good. High num rice, guys. Mmm, good. Mmm, it's so, it's so rich and it's so moist. I love the rice, guy. I could eat all night long just plain rice. I don't need I don't need the meat because if I'm so poor, example, and I don't have enough money to feed a lot of my kids chicken, I let them chicken, I let them eat the meat. I could eat alone just a rice and some tomatoes and cucumber and get, give me some fish sauce so I could pour in here and I mix it up and eat. I could live like that. Mmm. Because, because the rice is so delicious. It's not, it's not plain rice. It's got, it's got chicken broth in there. It's got garlic. You know what I'm saying? And then we put some uh, ginger to, to make it, uh, to make it smell strong and smell like garlic and smell like ginger. And the chicken broth is just, you know, balance it out and tastes amazing. It's got a lot of flavor, guys. Mmm, good. The best. I rate it, I rate it tonight. I rate, I'm gonna do a review now, guys. Today, everything is excellent. Uh, this is not a lie, it's not a joke, okay? The chicken that we bought, super fresh. It's when, you know, at the it's called at the poultry, the, the cow poultry over there in, in uh, I think it's in Armani, not Rosemead. Um, but it's on Garvey. It's called cow poultry. They, you know, the, 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 the rooster is still alive in a cave. They order from the farm and they ship it to that, uh, the store, which is cow poultry, the Asian people. And then they, they, they sell it to the Asian people, cow poultry, the farm. And then for, for a lot of like 1,000 or 2,000 chicken. So they drove over there, they delivered over their destination, charge and everything, like the car business. Um, and then uh, the, the owner, you know, he put in there and he hired a Latino to kill the chicken and then just pull the, the firm, the feather by machine, not by hand, by machine. So they, they buy like a $100,000 machine to open the business and to clean the, the chicken feather, everything by machine, okay? 
and then just and then just sell it. That's why I'm saying. That's why I want you understand because it's fresh chicken that I bought. It's not like dead, like you know, for weeks. No, it's just dead right there that on the morning, and they they sell it right away. It's so it's fresh. So I don't, you know, when when you do you believe it in Buddhist? If you kill an animal, you kill a kitchen, uh, a chicken. You you get spanked by God. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a it's a, a crime, you know. It's not a crime in uh, politic in life, but it's it, it's in Buddhist when we kill too many animals, when we die, right? Before we die, we get punished. After we die, we get punished by the devil. That's why I don't believe in in killing animals. That's why I rather use my money to go pay. You know what I'm saying? So here we goes. Let's continue. Mm. Super delicious. I forgot. See that the brown chick, the br brown uh, um, um, this is a rooster. The the skin is delicious, guy. It's brown, not white meat. This is uh, this is uh, you could say a uh, white meat or brown meat, but I don't care. But but it's a rooster. It's not the it's not American chicken. Okay, it tastes better, tighter. The meat is tighter. Ready? Mmm. It's so good. It's so firm. Mmm. Mmm. The chicken is sweet, guys. It's delicious. The meat is tighter. Mmm. Not like American chicken. You bite it, it's so tender, it just melts in your mouth. I don't want that chicken like that. That's called white meat. But this is Asian chicken rooster, but a lot better. You know what I'm saying? Mmm. The rice is so perfect tonight. Let me do a review right now. The rice. Let's start with the rice. The rice is cooked perfectly. When the chicken put it in the water and make it a chicken broth, after the chicken cooked for like 10 or 15 minutes, we use that uh, broth to cook the rice with and garlic and ginger inside the rice, right? So, but before that, you have to put the rice into the the, uh, the wok, the Chinese wok. If you don't have a wok, you put it in the pan. Then if you want it to taste good, you could uh, uh, put butter to stir the rice when it's like eight to 10 minutes. When it's brown, you take it out and then you put into the rice uh, cooker machine, and then uh, you put in there how many rice you eat with your family. You gotta put, you know, you have the measurement, the cup, right? And then you put uh, the chicken broth. You don't use uh, sink water or, or bottled water. You use a uh, chicken water. You put in there, cook along with the rice and the ginger and the, and the garlic's already there. So it smells good. It, it tastes more, much richer it may, tastes much, you know, creamy and butter. It tastes rich. It tastes delicious, right? And then, and then we take the chicken out, right? Uh, you know, we chopped it. We chopped the chicken like this, and then we we take the that fish sauce with the in the bottle, like I told uh, my past video. It's called fish sauce. You take the fish sauce. You take uh, lemon. You take uh, you know, if you eat sweet, you put five spoon of uh, sugar. And uh, one whole lemon and the fish sauce and the the fish sauce and the ginger, a lot of ginger. Just put in a, smash it up with the spoon, smash it up like hard, squeeze it, smash it up like that, and all the uh, ginger juice will come out and mix along with the uh, the sugar, the lemon, the fish sauce, and uh, if you don't like so sweet, just put two or three spoon of sugar, and that's enough. Depend how what's your flavor. So me, I uh, we we like a, a little bit sweet on our ginger sauce. So we put like at least uh, you know like five spoon of sugar. You know what I'm saying? So that's uh, the, I've been eating like this for many years. Uh, my mom cooked differently. My kids cook differently. I cook differently. This recipe that I learned it from my family, guys. Every high uh, nationality, they know how to make a uh, chicken. Uh, ginger chicken on rice. It's called Hainan chicken. In Chinese, you call Hoi Lam Gai Fan. 
Hoi Lam Gai Fan in Chinese. And in my, my Hainam uh, language, you call Ai Nam Koi Bui. Ai Nam Koi Bui. Ai Nam Koi Bui. It's like Taiwanese and uh, Fukin and Chiu Chao is similar to Hainam. You know what I'm saying? It's not Cantonese, it's not Mandarin. It's similar to Fukin, Taiwanese, and Chiu Chao. And my nationality is called Hainam, so it's very f familiar, similar with those language. You know what I'm saying? Mmm. Amazing. Tastes so good. If you want it, if you, you know, you add in some uh, um, cucumber and it's on the side of uh, vegetable. Mmm. Mmm. It's fine, guys. Super delicious. Mmm. Good. Mm. Right here, right? Tomato with the ginger sauce, fish sauce. Look at that, guys. Ready? Mmm. Forgot to do the review. I'm gonna score this thing. The rice, number one to number ten scale. One mean worst. Ten mean excellent. Perfect. I rate the rice number ten. Because it's it's cooked right, the the broth is amazing. Along with the rice cooked together with the ginger ginger sauce and the garlic, uh, it's stirred with uh with with the garlic and butter. When when we put in the wok and we try to, to you know like you know stir the the rice and mix it, smell smell good with garlic and uh, butter in there in there before we put into the rice cooker, and then uh. Put the rice in it's dry in the pot right in the rice cooker right and then pour some soup the chicken chicken soup into the rice and just close it up and and then cook it and add some a little bit salt in it so it tastes uh, a little bit uh, more tasting a little bit more salty you know strong it's called Hainan chicken rice and then later you just take your chicken out you chop it and then you cut uh, tomato you cut cucumber and I already showed you how to make the chicken, 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 I mean ginger sauce, right? Ginger fish sauce. So that's, this is my nationality, guys. So I, I eat it once a week. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not a chicken fan. But if, if it's fried chicken, I eat it like yesterday. And then Hainam chicken, which is my national, I will eat it. But if you invite me to go out in a restaurant chicken noodle, I'm, I'm not interested. I, I, I'm not, I'm not crazy for it. So because this is my national, I'm Hainam, Hainam peep nationality, I'll eat it. I don't mind, I grew up with it. My mom, my dad uh, eat this thing all their life. My dad passed away a long time ago, but he eats, he eats Hainam chicken. He speak Hainam more than me, guys. Hainam more than me. My dad speak French, fluent. Because the British came into Asia, 1940, so the British taught a lot of uh, Chinese people, a lot of Vietnamese people in Asia, and learn speak French. Because that time is it's during the war, China war, China communism, and you know a lot of people don't, you know, not everybody like China. Me myself, I don't like China. Because of war. Even Vietnam War is the same. I don't believe in war, guys. I, mean, I live in America for 43 years. I, I'm not a you know, like politician. I, I'm not a politician person, guys. I don't believe in it. I don't believe in war. I don't believe in uh, evil stuff. I don't believe in like killing and fighting. I don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I just love peace. I like to do the right thing in life. Mm. It's so good. Count on the ginger sauce with the fish sauce. Take this and dig into that. 
to the sauce, it tastes amazing. The rice is so rich. I mean, the chicken is so rich and buttery and, and fresh. The meat is tight and it's so fresh. You know what I'm saying? It's so delicious. Oh my God. How come I forgot to uh, finish the review? So the rice, I count on number 10. The chicken is perfectly excellent tonight. It's super fresh. From number one to t number 10 scale, the chicken, the meat, no smell like meat smell because we wash it right over there. They clean it. We paid. Oh, by the way, it's $17 per chicken. It's a small chicken like this, okay? It's a rooster. It's a brown chicken. Not American chicken like this because American chicken like this, they shot at, they put needles and shot at the at the farm. So when you eat it, it's not good for your system. And this Asian chicken, there's no shots. There's no like, chem, there's no chemical in it. You know what I'm saying? How you say it? Those uh, shot needles that are, you know, that farm use. We, it's not in here. Asian chicken is called brown rooster. It's not in here. So the chicken is much more thinner, much more skinny, much more small, but the meat is much more flavorful, much more uh, tight meat and, and more delicious and more um, um, protein. You know what I'm saying? I, I love it. I love I don't mind to eat the chicken. I'm not a chicken fan, but I'll eat it. Mm. I love to choose the bone, guys. Mm. The fish sauce, the ginger sauce, is just when you dig in with the meat, it just absorb it, and when you when you go like that, it just the sweet, sour ginger smell, the taste strong, and the garlic's all in here and chili. It tastes fantastic. Mmm, tastes delicious. You gotta have it. You gotta get the, the fish sauce, guy. Hey guys, the reason I'm staying home a lot right now because my my kids is uh they now is summer break, summer. So they don't have summer school in the university in in college. So I've been staying home and uh, now I got a, I, I don't work no more at Keys Lexus. The general manager, he is such an evil, evil uh, general manager like management. And he's a weak sucks. You know what I'm saying? He's a weak sucks. I don't, I don't think I, you know, bad at too. I don't think I work for anybody like that. Even my talent is so strong in closing every deal in the car dealership. I've been closing a lot of money. I've been closing deals for 34 years. I've been working a dealership for 34 years, 1988 to now. I could say, I could, I, I could tell the truth, I'm honest. I'm stronger than any any closer in the car business. I grew up in it, guy. I'm born in the car business, so I learned, I, I learned from A to Z. You know what I'm saying? I was born in a boot camp and learn how the boot camp, the four square, and the pencil, and the yelling, and the everything in the car business. I learned every A to Z. Anything you name it, bad, good, I, I, I learned everything. I even went to Ro Anthony Robin, uh, you know, seminar to pump me up, and I've been to go Joe Verde for many, many, many years for Joe Verde, and I spent a thousand bucks on my paycheck every month. It's a three-day class. I go to LA. I'm not listening to the to the video. I go there and learn back in the 80s. Joe Verde. For many, many years. Just refreshing, refreshing. Every year they make us spend make me spend a thousand bucks off my paycheck. Take off my paycheck. To go learn from the Joe Verde. From the real thing. Bring the people in and then just make appointment and when they come in, lie them down and then and make rows on them. And pound them. That's what. I, that's why I was born. But I joined this uh, Keys Lexus. I don't see any management that very strong like me inside. 
I'm not, I'm not showing off. That's the truth. I'm not showing off, and well, I won't lie, guys. A lot of weak stuff. A lot of weak stuff in this world, like the general manager, the keys, Lexus. I don't give him any, I don't give him any credit, guys. He is so evil. He's so mean. That I have to, and he makes you me to resign, guys. Twice. People like that, you don't want to work for them. He asked me to resign twice. He's yelling at me, abusing me. I don't need to work for those people like that. He asked me to resign. Are you resigning? Are you resigning? And I said, no. I want to transfer to Mercedes. That's what I said. And he said, are you resigning? It's like, he's asked me to quit. So I just quit. I hope, uh, I hope uh, the culprit, they know about this, they, they find the true story, then then that, I hope the general manager, the, the general manager is it's not gonna have a life over there anymore. Because a bad manager need to go, need to go away. We need a good manager, we don't need a bad manager. And by the way, in my life, I don't lie. I don't need to kiss ass to any manager because I didn't do nothing wrong, guys. I don't do anything wrong. Bad manager, they have two faces, you know what I'm saying? They have two faces. When you do good, they, they pretend to take the hand and clap you in the shoulder. When you do bad, you know, that's something that they dislike, they, talk, they just put you down and then talk shit about you and they write you up. That's, that's, that's called weak sucks. Even though you make a lot of money for them, they don't give a shit. They don't care. They don't, I'm sorry, excuse my word. They don't care nothing. They all, all they do, they want to make a, the big fat paycheck in, in their pocket. And, 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 and in the car business, we call them, they are shark. And uh, salesmen, we are pigeon. So it's not fair. We are pigeon, they're shark, and we make money for them. They get richer and richer, and we just live paycheck to paycheck. That's insane. That's not fair. That's why I, I, I don't kiss ass to any management. I used to be a manager before, but I just, I don't feel right. So I, I stopped becoming manager. Tell you the truth. I, I closed in, a, in the car business. I closed a lot of big grosses, guys. It's called big payable. Big payable. We call it monster payable in the car business. You could say pounder, but they don't like pounder. All my life, everywhere I sell, like every make, Toyota, Honda, BMW, Mercedes, or Porsche, I I pound all the people. I'm 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 serious, I'm not gonna lie. But you know, I work at Keys, I found out, you know, management, they don't have a they're not strong with their closing deals. They're just lucky closing like a you know, maybe a thousand dollar deal, or maybe a mini, or maybe a two two grand deal. That's it. But they don't close like me. They, uh, there's one deal I close like thirty two grand deal and twelve in the back. And this is just just one time at Keys, the new store. And back in the old store, back in the day when I worked at Keys Lexus, I put a hundred grand gross on the book front end every month, month to month. This is two thousand five. It's called the old Lexus store. Old Keys, Lexus in Van Nuys, the old store. So now I'm staying home. I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to uh, think about anything. Just staying home, cook, and eat, guys. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the rice I I rated. Number 10, the chicken, I, I'm going to rate, the chicken, I'm going to raise number 10 too. And the fish sauce, very perfectly, number 10 too. So far, the tomato, the rice, the cucumber, the, the ginger fish sauce, 
The chicken, everything is 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. It's like CSI. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and this is not lying. This is honesty, okay? Because when it's good, I say good. When it's no good, I would say no good. Even though my family cook it or I cook it, if it's no good, I would say no good. You know what I'm saying? See, one piece of chicken left. Hainam chicken, the best, guys. Just dig into uh, the ginger sauce like this. Mmm. Rooster brown chicken. The meat is brown, but it tastes, it's, it's tighter, the meat. When you chew it, tighter. More tasty, more vitamin. Mmm. So delicious. Very expensive, guys. More expensive than American chicken. It's so delicious. I don't think I can finish the whole chicken. Like this, see? I don't think I can finish it. You know what I'm saying? Cheers, guys, on my own juice. Cheers, I love you, okay? Oh yeah, so fine. Delicious. Very tasty, guy. One more piece of chicken. The chicken is so good tonight that I love it. It makes me eat, see? Uh, it's like this. Let me show you, okay? What I mean. Asian rooster chicken is like this. The skin, yellow, right? The meat is tighter, right? More fresh. The meat, it tastes better. More protein. More vitamin. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. So if you if you want, really want to try it, put a comment. Put a comment uh, below my description box. And uh, uh, Andy, where you buy the chicken? I will add. I will text. I will uh, message you back and say the address over there, and you can walk in. You can buy. It, okay? They take a uh, credit card. They take Visa, debit card, cash, everything. But I don't know about check. Okay? You know what I'm saying? So go buy one. Sixteen, seventeen dollar per chicken, and and it and it tastes fantastic. Mmm. Mmm. Good. It's so good, guys. To use a hand. Mmm. So fine. Look at that. It's so uh, creamy. It's so rich. And it's savory. A little bit savory. The meat. It's much... Beautiful taste, guys. I love it. And then the cucumber, it helps refreshing. Mmm, so crunchy, too. Fantastic. See, when it's good, I ate all my rice. I don't leave one piece of rice. You know why? It was taught by dad, my father. He said, no matter how rich you are, when you grow up, do not waste food. Do not leave one piece of rice because Buddha might spank me. Buddha might punish me after I die. So in my whole life, I'm 52 years right now, 52 years old. I never waste one piece of rice, guys. After my 26 years old, I get married. I, I got a girlfriend. My first uh, girlfriend is 26 years old. I hold my virgin virgin. I don't have no girls in my life. Just my dad before he died. In in 1996, I was 26 years old. He told me to go get a girlfriend. And uh, and before, I never had a girlfriend in my life. Not even high school year. I don't need a girl that time. I don't think about good girls. But when he died, he said, go look for uh, a wife that could take care of you. You know what I'm saying? So, so when he died... I go uh, look for a girlfriend, and it's one girl, girlfriend become a wife. 
and before that I was a virgin the rest of my life before you know what I'm saying it's super delicious okay guys I still have a little bit of ginger left all the rice is gone clean plate empty super delicious dinner it's worth it it's healthy and it's very tasty you know what i'm saying so i i did my part you know do review show my chicken show how to cook the recipe and if you wanted to buy this chicken this rooster chicken asian chicken where i could put comment me in the message below and just say, Andy, where, what is the address for that? That I buy the chicken. I will, I will, I will message you back and give you the uh, the the name of the uh, the cow poultry and the the address, okay? And um, I want to thank you for watching my video, guys. Okay, cheers. I love you. Oh yeah. Orange is amazing. It tastes good. And uh, last last word, I want to shout out. You know, thank you very much. Thank you so much by watching my video. And um, you guys take care. You guys stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay blessed, and take care of yourself and take care of your family. Okay. I want to thank you so much again. Okay. I love you all. I love you. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you haven't clicked the red word subscribe, please click the red word subscribe now and share my videos to your friends and your family. To the stranger in the whole world too, okay? Whatever you at, please tell them to, you know, his Andy Ngo and then P-H-O. Andy is A-N-D-Y space N-G-O space P's in Paul. H is in Henry, O is in October. It's called Andy Ngolfa. That's the name of my uh, YouTube uh, video, okay? Andy Ngolfa, okay? And then, um, um, you, and then you, you know, tell them to click the red word subscribe when watching my video. So if you haven't clicked the red word subscribe, please support me by clicking the red word subscribe, okay, guys? And share my video to your friends and your family. Okay, please support me, guys. Because doing one video, uh, recording one video, and doing one video is not easy. We have to editing. We have spent so many time to to edit, to correct this and cut this and cut that, and uh, make a perfect video. Okay, so I just want to you know every day do a try to do a perfect video for you guys to watch. You know my life. Oh, by the way, I'm not even advertising. I'm not even show off, okay? This is just a dinner, okay? It's Hainan Chicken today, Tuesday night. Now it's about 10 p.m. Los Angeles, California, okay? So uh, just uh, support me by click the red word subscribe and share my video to friends and family. And uh, I'll, I'm going to put into TikToks. And then uh, in TikTok, I, because uh, YouTube, I cannot forward to TikTok, you know what I'm saying? So for those that watch my video in TikToks, uh, they have, uh, you know, it, the, the, the Andy Ngo Go Sao Mai 2716. Please, you know what? Because TikTok, when you watch the video, I don't have credit, guys. So do me a favor, when you watching my, my videos at TikTok, just find me in the YouTube, just go to YouTube and search and click on and, and search for Andy, A-N-D-Y, space, and then N-G-O, which is my last name, N-G-O, space, and then P's in Paul, H's in Henry, O's in October, it's called Fa, Andy Ngo Fa, and then when you, in TikTok, when, when I mean on YouTube, when you, on YouTube, when you're watching my TikTok, and just after you're done with the TikTok, just go to go out from the TikTok and, and go to YouTube and just search Andy Ngo Fa, and then please 
click once you're in the YouTube, please subscribe me, okay? And share my video to your friends and your family. Okay, got it? You know what I'm saying? Please support me, okay? If you don't help me, nobody help me, okay? So I want to, I want to, I, I, please do me a favor. You know, when you watch my TikTok, at the end of the TikTok, I don't have any credit because it's not from YouTube, you know, forward to TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Because from my camera video, uh, you know, save it to TikTok. That's why I have no credit. That's why I ask you when you finish TikTok my video, every video, you go out, you go into YouTube, and then search me, Andy Ngofar. And then when you when you see my uh, a guy with a suit, my face, right? And then you go in the video and press subscribe and send my video to your friends and your family. Got it? Okay, guys. I wanted to thank you so much, you know, watching my video. And um, I'm just saying last word, okay? Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. And stay safe. Stay happy. Stay blessed. And this year, make more money, okay? Cheers, guys. I love you. I love you guys. Bye-bye, guys. Oh, yeah. Fabulous. Fabulous orange juice. It's good. It's refreshing. Okay, so I'm going to go wash my hand. Uh, I just did take a shower already. And um, that's it, guys. I'll see you next video, okay? I love you, okay? See you next video, guys. See, I'm not lying. I finished all my uh, food, okay? It's good when I finish them all. And right now, I still have, uh, you know, the whole pot of chicken. The whole pot of chicken. See, I don't eat a lot of meat, see? I think this is going to be left for, for the kids to eat. Okay, guys. I love you, okay? Love you. I got to go, okay? i see you next video. Like my haircut, guys? See, I got a haircut today. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. I look good, right? Right? Thank you. I love you. Don't forget to click the word subscribe and share my videos to your friends and your family. Okay? Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.